Hi, I'm Gus Cook, an application specialist here at Blue Marble Geographics. And today I'm going to be answering the question, how do I query my vector data in Global Mapper? So we see here that I have some point data, and each of these points represents the location of a weather station in this particular area of Colorado. I also have some background imagery for some basic geographic context. Each of these points has some associated attributes. We have total rain, uh, max and minimum temperature and elevation. I'm going to be talking about today how we can query these attributes um, to find and select um, particular points that meet that um, set of criteria. So in order to do this, I'm going to go up here to the search menu. I'm going to search by attribute name and description. This is going to be my search results here. I'm going to dock this down below my main map view. And we can see here that we have not yet filtered our list. This still contains all the features from our layer. We're going to use this dialog here to build our query. We could limit our results to just a particular feature type. We don't need to do that in this case because we just have point features. Here are our attributes that we can use to create our query. And today we are going to be uh, looking for points that represent weather stations that are at a high elevation and that have a high annual rainfall. So in order to do this, I'm going to select a particular attribute. I'm going to click the plus to add that to our query. It's now delineated by these percent signs. I'm going to now add our greater than operator. And let's say 2,450 meters, which is roughly 8,000 feet for our elevation cutoff. I'm going to add this and operator to add another condition to our query. and for this second condition, I'm going to add our total rainfall and again, add this greater than operator. Let's look for locations that have a total rainfall of more than 20 inches. I'm going to validate my query to make sure I don't have any syntax errors. Everything looks good. Now I'm going to select search. We can see that my list here has been reduced to just the points that meet this specific criteria. I'm going to close this dialog here. If I select these within um, this attribute editor, you can see that they are now selected in my main map view. Now for a final step here, I'm going to Command C, Command V to copy my selected points into a new layer, which I'm going to call high altitude, high precip, and say OK. I'm going to close my original layer here and see here that I have now created a new vector layer just containing these um, points that fall within the specified uh, attribute ranges um, that we uh, filtered our data based on. And we could, to save this change, export this to a uh, new file. If you'd like to learn more about how to query your vector data in Global Mapper, you can visit us at bluemarblegeo.com or shoot us an email at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com. Thanks for watching.